Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We are gonna talk about Nicki Minaj's husband. Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, posed for a new photo. It looks a hot mess. So he's on the California's SEX Offenders Registry. He was required to register as a offender due to a conviction in the 1990s. Oh my goodness. He was accused, you guys, of first degree a word, I can't say the word. However, he reached a plea deal, which reduced the charge to attempted a word. Come on. So he's guilty, but they're going to reduce. Okay. He was convicted of first degree attempted. So they changed it because he pled guilty. So they gave him a deal. So that's why it went from first degree a word to first degree attempted a word. You believe this? In 1994, he served four years in prison and was required to register as a SEX offender in New York, where he lived at the time. <sighs> the photo is part of his profile on the state of California Department of Justice Morgan's Law website, where people can view the address of, you know, offenders who live nearby. That's a good website to check out. You know, check out your own local website so you can see who lives around you. You know, you got to protect the kids. So, his offenses were listed as attempted, R word, by force or fear. Also listed, if you guys care, was his height and weight. He is 5'9 and 170 pounds. Okay? This guy is trouble. Let me tell you. He and Nikki were recently ordered to pay 600 thousand dollars to a security guard who claimed Kenneth Petty attacked him backstage at Nikki's show in Germany. Kenneth sucker punched the guy. He sucker punched the security guard because the security guard allowed a fan to get on stage, you know, doing Nikki's performance in um somewhere in Europe in twenty twenty one, I believe. So this guy is trouble. He's trouble. Yeah trouble now He's trouble, y'all. He is trouble. Okay, anyway. A judge sentenced him to 120 days of house arrest. 120 days of house arrest last September. After he violated his probation by making public threats to Cardi B's husband's offset. What the hell? He threatened offset. Cardi B's husband. Jeez. A video surface on social media of him and his associates threatening offset. My goodness. So my question is, how does a woman, especially a woman with so many options, manage to select a man like this to be her husband and father of her child? How the F does that happen? I don't get it. Of all the decent men in this country, she marries a word. This is an L that will last a lifetime. This is a man who cannot attend his own kids' parties. This is a man who has to register everywhere he goes. Nikki's address will be public every time they move because of him. This is bad. This is really bad. Of all the men in this world, Nikki, you beautiful. You're beautiful, yeah, you a little trashy, you know, some may, you know, the way you, you know, the things that you rap about, you know, and all the way you carry yourself, yeah, but, but, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know, you could, uh, I don't know, but I feel like she's insecure, Nicki Minaj is insecure, and she craves control, that's why she married a man who is well beneath her socially, and financially, he will never leave her, right? And if she chooses to, if she chooses to leave him, he doesn't have a chance, and you know, of getting custody of their child, and you know, alimony and all that good stuff. So, I don't know. I just, you know what? But see, the guys that Nikki dated, you know, Mick Mills, he's like on the low. You know, safari, like, yeah, so her track records with men are just terrible. But my goodness, 
But this guy, I don't know. Maybe she needs protection from these demonic demons in the industry. And this guy is like a loose freaking cannon. Like a loose, I don't know. And he'll do anything. He'll do anything, you know. Because, I mean, this guy, you know, he's reckless. So maybe Nicki Minaj just like, okay, I'm going to, you know. Because why would you marry someone like that? It's because this guy has nothing to lose. And he'll do anything. Right? So I think that's what it is. Because she's surrounded by a lot of freaking crazy, you know. And I think because this guy will do anything for her. So I don't know. I don't know. But it could be. I have a feeling it could be all. It could be that. But it's uh, anyway. Whatever. Nicki Minaj is not innocent. Again, sometimes people attract who they are. I mean, her brother, uh, this husband of hers. You know, God knows. I mean, she's programmed. I really believe she's my control. She really is. She has all these alter egos. One of them is Roman Zolensky. You know who Roman Polensky is? This is the freaking creep who was charged and arrested for... He's a, he's a you know, the P word. P-E-D-O. Yeah. So she named herself her alter ego after Roman Polensky. Think about that. Okay? And I remember also doing her Queen's Radio. One episode, at the end, she called out Leo Cohen. And then she was like, I'm going to expose you. She threatened this guy to expose him on the next episode. She said, Leo Cohen... Watch, I forgot what she said exactly, word for word. But she pretty much, at the end of that show, she said, Leo, Leo, whatever his name is. Leo Cohen. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. It's on. And then, next episode, she it never happened. She did not even touch on it. So, I guess they, I don't know, he did something. For her not to expose whatever she threatened to expose on that episode of Queen's Radio. So you see, it's, 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 these people are just, I don't know. I'm not even going to get into it right now. They are sick. Okay? So, yeah, you guys. So please like, please share, please subscribe and leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.